Today, a Somali American will be sentenced for trying to detonate a bomb at Portland's annual tree lighting ceremony. That's right. Mohammed Mohammed faces a maximum life sentence for the plot meant for Pioneer Courthouse Square. Brent Weisberg is live at the federal courthouse this morning with the latest. Brent? And good morning to you. Despite that maximum sentence, prosecutors with the U.S. Attorney's Office say they are going to be re recommending that Mohammed Mohammed get 40 years in prison. His defense team, who has argued that their client was entrapped by the federal government, the FBI, they are asking for a 10 year sentence. This whole case started back in June 2010. Undercover agents with the FBI were posing as Al Qaeda recruiters. They emailed Mohammed after learning about what they call his radical ways. On November 26, 2010, the FBI arrested him. He was 19 years old at the time. His family had moved to Oregon from Somalia. Mohammed lived in Corvallis, but federal prosecutors say he tried to detonate what he thought was a van packed with explosive. Court documents reveal that that was an 1,800-pound bomb. The FBI says the bomb inside was not real and there was no danger to anyone who was at Pioneer Courthouse Square for the Christmas tree lighting. In January 2013, a federal jury convicted him on one count of attempting to use a weapon of mass destruction. As I mentioned, the sentencing happening today, it's at 10 o'clock this morning right here in the U.S. Federal Courthouse. Mike and Jenny, back to you. All right, Brent, thanks for that update.